Looks like Ryo just got re-owned by a ten-year-old. Alright, those no good as kind of gone too far, so I guess we better ask around and see if anyone's seen anything. さっきバッグを盗まれたんです。新たに変。ここに誰か逃げてきませんでしたか。いいえ。そうですか。何か心当たりは。毒蛇兄弟なら何か知ってるかも。毒蛇兄弟。毒蛇兄弟って。この辺
あいつだ There is nothing more terrifying than seeing a Ryo Hazuki running towards you at full speed. Alright, it's time for a free battle. Well, it's pretty much the same as it does in Shenmue 1. The combat system is a little bit different compared to the first game. It generally seems to move a lot faster, and, and to that end, you end up using punch moves a lot more. Simply because punch moves are faster and you can, they're more reliable to hit enemies with. Camera's still kind of an issue though. Oh, he's just out of reach for my foot. But yeah, sometimes the camera just kind of goes on all kinds of wacky angles, and that's just kind of just like it was in the first game. And again, some of the button combinations for moves have changed, so you might need to get used to that if you're jumping into this straight from Shenmue 1. Parrying works a little bit differently as well. It seems harder to parry attacks, and you end up relying on normal dodges more often. If you dodge at the right time, just as an enemy is attacking, you can do a special roll, and then you can attack them from the side or behind. So Wong's just gonna lead us to our bag, uh, but now the game puts you into chase mode where you are locked onto an NPC and your character will automatically follow them. And while you're following them, you can use the analog stick to uh, you know, look around and zoom in and stuff. So, yeah. So, this little event can have several outcomes depending on what you do. So if you mess up that first quick time event, you'll lose Wong. But it's okay because you can find him again. You just need to know where to look. So it says you must find him, so you have to go around and ask. どっちに。あっちよ。バーかカフェかライライ飯店か。とにかく右の方に走ってったわ。そう Now the cafe that she's talking about is where we just were. So apparently Wong hasn't really moved much. So let's go back to where we chased Wong to. That we have to get past this terrible frame rate. 
That's one of the problems about this game, I guess, is that there are some areas where the frame rate will just drop. I guess this doesn't happen in the Xbox version, or rather it shouldn't happen in the Xbox version, considering how much more powerful the damn thing is. But yeah, if you go back to that alleyway, you'll find Wong again. I'll break your arm! I mean... And then you get to continue the rest of the quick time event. Not this time! And here's another way you can fail that chase sequence. Alright, so you got away again, and we have to find him, but he won't be in the same place as before. Let's ask that lady again. I like her panda shirt, it's kinda cute. Alright, let's head on over to the Lai Lai Eatery, which is just in that alleyway. Alright, so let's have a good look around here. If you remember, the chase kind of led us through here and we jumped over some tables. And we kind of bumped into this girl. あの、あなた。迷惑をかけてごめん。いえ、私はいいんだけど、ここのマスター怒ってたよ。ああ、本当に悪かった。うん、あなたが悪い人じゃないってことは見ればわかるよ。Well, apparently the owner was kind of mad, but she seems all right. That's good to know. Hopefully there shouldn't be any more trouble. So this time, you get to fight these guys in the restaurant. And this is a pretty funny fight because as you fight, everything around you breaks and you end up, you know, knocking over all the tables and chairs and stuff. And well, the only of the restaurant was mad before, I'd hate to see him after this. Oh god. Burning everything. That's a pretty cool special attack these guys can do. I don't know if there's a way of avoiding it, but it just seems to happen randomly, so whatever. If you fight these two guys after you chase Wong, and you lose that fight, you know, up, you know after you jump over the fence, then you have another chance to fight these two guys here, in this restaurant. If you end up losing this fight, then you can find Cool Z hanging around somewhere, and you can just beat him up instead. Eventually though, you, you'll get Wong to lead you towards your bag. Yeah, when this guy's low on health, he'll whip out his baton, which does a bit more damage to you. Um, but nothing to worry about, because we can just throw him and get out of the way. So he beat up the two guys again. Now let's get out of here before they make us pay for all the broken tables. Oh, 
So, after that, just like the last time, Wong will lead you to your bag and you're led on this little chase thing where you follow the NPC. You can actually do this to any NPC in the game. If an NPC is like walking around, then you can follow them in this way. It's an interesting way of getting around Hong Kong, actually. そう。金だけ抜き取ったな。俺じゃないよ。本当だよ。奴らのところへ案内しろ。金はラリーたちが爆地で。なんだと本当だよ。あっという間に使っちゃったんだよ。ごめんなさい。何でもするから勘弁して
じゃあ野宿でもするさやめときなよここは日本とは違うんだよ寝てる間に襲われるのがオチさ<笑>しょうがないねいいとこ教えてやるよこの近くに蓬莱旅社ってホテルがあるんだ蓬莱旅社ウォンが言ってたホテルだフロントでジョイの紹介って言えば安くしてくれるよこの道をずっと行ったところさそうかなんならあたいが案内してやろっかああちょっとうんもうI, I do like watching the interactions between Joy and Brio because, well, they're really complete opposites. I mean, like, Joy is trying so hard to talk to Rio and he's just not getting it at all. I know it's in Japanese now and Rio kind of has a better voice actor and everything, but, but, but even with all that going for him, he's still pretty uncharismatic in this game. <laughs> Can you please stop doing that? Nani, good good to stand, sir. Sasa to Haina Nani, a tiny show, guys, are she you the kina? Tomari Taikado, Kanegana in the Joe and I, eh? Yo, a coconut to Marina Astana's a hatches in Konomina. I'm nice to you. I'm nice. Do go. Kaneo Casagir to Koro Dio. これから先無一文でどうする気朝8時だよいいねでも何か違うんだけど、ジョイの毛が結構いろいろある。あのこりゃ怪だなあのすいません何かよ何かってここホテルですよねらしいねあの部屋を空きやねえよそうですか実はジョイに言われてジョイだとはいジョイに紹介されてたくしょうがねえなうんはい。Well, we had quite a long eventful day. I think we deserve a bit of a break. First, we're going to save the game and notice these hugely improved save times. Yeah! How much faster that is. And we're just going to call it a night there because, well, we've had enough action for one day. Compare this to the first day of Shenmue 1. Doesn't even compare. Oh well, we've got an early start tomorrow, so see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night's sleep.